This sister descended from the Gullah Geechee, so I used to practice our own magic, black magic, in them churches. When I got to be 13, I went out in the wilderness, and I prayed until I got converted. Then I was baptized, and I came back. I got my right hand fellowship in the prayer house. That means that you are a member of the congregation. That might have flew over your head, but she says she went to the forest in the waters to go pray. Because that's a terminology she's just using. But think about what she's actually doing. Connecting with the evil spirit. Now, I'm just, playing, I'm just saying that for everybody who thinks voodoo is evil, right? But y'all yeah, want y'all to go read. If you could find any book talking about the folklore of uh, the Southern Negro, all of these type of books are good. Or the old Florida Negro. Like, it's a bunch of books like that. But I just think it's powerful how our ancestors to tap in with the elements and didn't have to feel like they had to go to a certain establishment ran by this government to feel holy or feel connected. Maybe if we still had our grandmas more than just praying to Jesus Christ for us, but really looking out for us, sending us protection spills and our moms, we'd be well ver more versed out here. But we've been broken down over time, not to blame nobody. And shout out to the Gullah Geechee, because that's my Nana tribe. The reason why I personally feel like these global elites magic work and what I mean by they magic, they light magic, they illuminated illusions, career, job, American dream, all this, right? And you get caught up in this hamster wheel. The reason why this works is because we stop practicing our own magic or they beat it out of the old generations and then teach it to the new ones. You know, it's a simple method, but over a hundred years you implement this, it do some real damage. Now, when a lot of people think about hoodoo, voodoo, you think about somebody pick, pick, picking at a doll, like a voodoo doll and you can feel it on the other side of the world because I made a voodoo doll at the house. None of their magic, none of their spells, no, nobody spell work against you unless you believe in it. Like yesterday, I cut my hand, right? What if I were to believe like, oh, somebody's sending me energy? Bro, then it's going to amplify and become stronger. But I just noted it off. Like, okay, I cut my hand. Stop the bleeding, move on. But I did feel somebody on me, on my head, sending me that message like, yeah, this is magic. Somebody doing something to you. So you got to have a belief in it. And we don't believe in shit. We know what's going on. And you see the method that, because she look good. You see the methods that they doing, they're working. She looks natural. She looks like she's aging correctly. A lot of us, we transcending real early and leaving this realm because the, the old frequency where we used to live in and you can survive 40, 50 years just working your job and all that, that's killing you way faster now. So we got to tap back in with our own power, our own magic, our own energies, our own culture, our way of life. But part of y'all found... I'm out. Peace. Grandpas and grandpas and our ancestors practiced their voodoo and their magic behind or inside the churches. That's what made them the black church, right? And this was before they indoctrinated and sent the Luciferians and all the world global elites to infiltrate each church and flip the infrastructure. Pay a, a agent to preach the gospel and to stop practicing your magic. Even though in that book, you be talking about feeding the body of Christ and all these other things, and, and, but you never seen Christ. You never seen a lot of these spirits in that book, but y'all don't want to talk about that because you under a fucking spell. Like, you know, in Louisiana, voodoo is illegal. <laughs> Why is it illegal? What y'all scared of? But y'all hold all y'all mason minories and walk the gold and be getting beat and stripped and traveling, man. Y'all do all y'all little Freemasonry uh, ugly shit. I'm about to show y'all this video. Check it out. It is deeply embedded into the black church. Let your wives and your children see you get. Come on. You can't tell me you don't feel this, bro. This is a part of DNA activation as well, bro. Sound healing all time. Man.
Big Mama. The real chief. Like, do y'all know which doctors are really put like an egg and some water, put it under your bed, and you really wake up sweating and detoxed out? Like, they had different mannerisms. Like, now when you think about sweat, you think, let me go run a mile so I can sweat. Let me hop on a treadmill. Like, even me, that's how I be thinking sometimes. But you could sit there and hyperventilate yourself and purge things out. Like, you can put, that's why if you ever seen people do that sage work and they do that all around, they, that's ancient, that's ancient works, bro. Of course, they want to make a new age spirituality now, but like, I don't know, bro, the disconnection is crazy to me. And the way they pushed hoodoo voodoo to us, especially when we was young, we think it is some type of scary African Haitian thing. And we'll make you wake up with a missing leg or something like that. Even when you think about how cartoons predicted it, but all it is is alchemy and playing with the elements. And if you're a being that's made up of every element, water, fire, earth, air, and the elements around you are made up of earth, water, fire, air, you could connect with them. Because there's a realm that we can't see. Scientists admitted this with the biofield, so I don't want to hear it. So they made it illegal to do your magic because they didn't want to catch no more ass whooping. So they called it the devil. Yeah, it's their devil. Yes. When you say, oh, that's the devil. Third eye, that's the devil. No, you speaking like your oppressor. But we don't got no oppressors, though. You speaking like the person who fed you trick knowledge. Let's just say that. We don't got no oppressors, bro. We don't got no oppressors because you could trap this physical, but you could never trap the soul, bro. But they trying to find ways to do that, but it'll never happen, bro. It'll never happen. So these folks, I ain't gonna lie. This government, they're diabolical, as but they're genius. They're genius. They will pay anybody. So if there's somebody coming up spreading a message and it's like the tr quote unquote the truth or something that can help benefit us, they will pay an agent. Like even if there's not somebody currently like genuinely feeling like, no, we could do it through the system, like a W.E. Du Bois or Martin Luther King. They will pay somebody to just come up and knock you off. Put more promotion, more motion, like they'll just get you out the way. Keys to how you probably feel like your message is strong. You got a strong message. But you see somebody that's spitting a message that's half much value, half as much truth in it. This is all ages too, because I see a lot of people on the internet be like, I said that first. I said, I've been saying this. It's not how it works, bro. Once you say something to the algorithm, it get pushed to the AIs, and then they gonna push a bot to make that message. They rather have somebody like, yeah, work on your chakras, Kundalini, than to really have you learning about what's like what didn't happen to you, what you didn't forgot, like that Kundalini. Sh what have we forgotten? You feel me? Don't take that personal if I say Kundalini and you're working on your chakras. You know what I'm trying to say, bro. You know what I exactly what I'm trying to say. And if you don't, the, the message ain't for you, my boy. Turning the trick. It is said that if anyone tricks you, you discover the trick and put that into the fire. You burn your enemy. Or if you throw it into the running water, you drown him. Lay the trick that you discover inside of a piece of paper, right? Next time you think somebody playing a trick on you. Sprinkle quicksilver over it and set the paper on fire. The trick exploded and made a hole in the ground. Or you put it in some water and let it flow through. Or you burn it into the caveman. And think about this, right? You could, if I just read you a ritual that you could do. You can make shit like that up on, you know what to do. You know what to do. Y'all be knowing when I know what to do. Like sometimes, if, oh, let me get some cinnamon in it and burn it and throw it under a bit. Like I just do certain things. Like play with the elements. It's all a part of you. You feel me? But I'm TikTok, this is all entertainment only. You feel me? Just a video, entertainment, ha ha ha, funny, ha ha. You know our grand.
This sister descended from the Gullah Geechee, so I used to practice our own magic, black magic, in them churches. When I got to be 13, I went out in the wilderness and I prayed until I got converted. And I was baptized and I came back, I got my right hand fellowship in the prayer house. That means that you are a member of the congregation. That might have you know, flew over your head, but she said she went to the forest in the waters to go pray. Because that's the terminology she's just using. But think about what she's actually doing. Connecting with the evil spirit. Now, I'm just, playing, I'm just saying that for everybody who think voodoo evil, right? But y'all want y'all to go read. If you could find any book talking about the folklore, uh, the Southern Negro, all of these type of books are good. Or the old Florida Negro. Like, it's a bunch of books like that. But I just think it's powerful how our ancestors to tap in with the elements and didn't have to feel like they had to go to a certain establishment ran by this government to feel holy or feel connected. Maybe if we still had our grandmas more than just praying to Jesus Christ for us, but really looking out for us, sending us protection spills and our moms, we'd be well versed, more versed out here. But we've been broken down over time, not to blame nobody. And shout out to the Gullah Geechee, because that's my Nana tribe. The reason why I personally feel like these global elites magic work and what I mean by they magic, they light magic. They illuminated illusions, career, job, American dream, all this, right? And you get caught up in this hamster wheel. The reason why this works is because we stop practicing our own magic. Or they beat it out of the old generations and then teach it to the new ones. You know, it's a simple method, but over a hundred years you implement this, it do some real damage. Now, when a lot of people think about hoodoo, voodoo, you think about somebody pick, pick, picking at a doll, like a voodoo doll. And you can feel it on the other side of the world because I made a voodoo doll at the house. None of their magic, none of their spells, no, nobody's spell work against you unless you believe in it. Like yesterday, I cut my hand, right? What if I were to believe like, oh, somebody's sending me energy? Bro, then it's going to amplify and it's going to become stronger. But I just noted it off. Like, okay, I cut my hand. Stop the bleeding. Move on. But I did feel somebody on me, on my head, sending me that message like, yeah, this is magic. Somebody doing something to you. So you got to have a belief in it. And we don't believe in shit. We know what's going on. And you see the methods that, cause she look good. You see the methods that they doing, they're working. She looks natural. She looks like she's aging correctly. A lot of us, we transcending real early and leaving this realm because the, the old frequency where we used to live in and you can survive 40, 50 years just working your job and all that, that's killing you way faster now. So we got to tap back in with our own power, our own magic, our own energies, our own culture, our way of life. Man, I hey, my beautiful people. Y'all know what I love about an old, old, old Baptist church down in the deep south is that it's rooted in hoodoo. Like, I don't go to church, but just by looking at a church, I can tell when hoodoo is just rooted in that church. When I step foot on the grounds, hoodoo was rooted in that church, and I love it. Take away the religion from the church in the deep south, the church was a building where everybody could come together and do their thing, do their rituals on a weekly basis. You know, our people were so smart with it. They were so smart with it that they had so many terms that mass and them couldn't figure out. And I loved it. And I loved it. I wish, I really wish that they didn't get away from it, but kept the true tradition of church. Let me tell you some terms opening the doors of the church that's what you're going to hear in the deep south let's open the doors of the church this is when it is time for them to have people to come up to the front of the church that want to get saved why do they call it opening the doors of the church that's a ritual when you open the doors and you're inviting people in you're inviting souls in that creates a haunting you're coming in we have you now you're part of us now you're part of this place now altar call come on up to the altar let's say these prayers this is for everybody to put in their petition for their petitions to get granted so this is for the preacher which is the person doing the rituals to uh, have your petitions heard so they can be granted. So that's what altar call is for. Offering. You got to pay the pastor. He ain't doing these rituals for free. He got to eat too. 
Go ahead and pass a collection plate around so we can pay the pastor for listening to our petitions and going ahead and uh, doing these petitions and these spells for the week. Give into the building fund. You got to pay for the building. This right here, this is the offering for the entities in the church or the ancestors that are being recognized in the church. You know, when you go downstairs and you see all those pictures of those elders, those are the ancestors that were being venerated in the church that were helping with these petitions. So we got to pay the building fund so we can pay them. If you ever notice, nothing extra gets built on in the church, even though there's a building fund. So that's what that was for. So let's talk about dopamine rushes. Let your wives and your children see you dance. Okay, last one, I promise. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about drums and why they're so important, okay? So in the drums in African spirituality, it's not just the beat or the song. Think about it this way. When you hear a person say, raise your vibration, 
That is exactly what is happening. We are here on this lower level plane, okay? We are vibrating really low down here, okay? So when we play those drums, those fast drums, when they are going so fast, what is happening? The vibration of the collective spirit in the room is being raised. So you're singing high vibration. That's why everybody's yelling. People are dancing. People are screaming. People are drumming because you're raising the vibration to connect with that live, that higher level spirit. Hoodoo was widely practiced in the plantation churches. It became deeply embedded in Southern culture. It was so intertwined in how they worshipped it became the Southern Black Church. Though practices become common, healers, medicine people, to headed doctors, conjure people, treaters and other gifted people became an important piece of the community. People would visit them for unseen things that held them. They were the doctors of the community, giving prescriptions and instructions to break hexes, aid in legal matters and bring them. As the generations progressed and slavery ended, these practices were carried throughout the United States of the migrating free people. As melanated people sought to be accepted in the wider society's lot of beliefs or labeled superstitious. This created a divide as free people wanted to cut all ties with their enslaved roots. Churches became colonized and began to lose the soul it once had. Like, follow and share. In the West they go to church to worship God. In the East we become God. Know the difference. In the West they go to church to worship God. In the East we become God. Know the difference. Hey y'all, so question for you on this peaceful Sabbath. Is it voodoo in the black church? You know, with the baptisms, the blessed oils, the Holy Spirit taking over someone, the wearing white to the ceremonial rituals, so forth and so on. Or are these Hebraic markers of the Israelites from the Bible? But one has gone deep into West African spirituality while the white washing has happened to another. What do you think? Y'all ever hear about the man that in 2004 was getting letters and instructions from a church that was gone since the 1700s? And they say voodoo is evil, but do it in church. They say voodoo is evil, but do it in church.
Y'all get. <sighs> Hi. Y'all call it in your. South African man uses black magic.